Hey creators, it's Rob here at vidIQ with an exciting new tool I want to share with you that we think is a game changer because it's as simple as drag, drop, get a thumbnail. This is a tool for creators who always make the video first and then get stuck trying to figure out a thumbnail afterwards, or for creators who hate making thumbnails or just aren't very good at making thumbnails. But it can also be used for creators who need a flash of thumbnail inspiration before they even start their videos. And you can even customize the generated thumbnails with stickers, remove backgrounds, or even magically erase objects. Pretty intriguing, right? Just like a thumbnail should be. So let me show you how it works. So what we have here is a video on how to get monetized on YouTube. And all we're simply going to do is pick up that video and drag it into the vidIQ thumbnails tool. Now, it is important to note that you are not uploading the entire video to vidIQ and wasting gigabytes of data. But as you can see, the browser now is analyzing the video in preparation for creating a thumbnail. And I am letting this process run in real time so you can see how fast vidIQ can generate some thumbnails from your video. And it usually takes around about yeah, 30 seconds. So now we have a selection of thumbnails all based on the topic of the video and spelt correctly. There are different themes here and I happen to like this first one, but I do want to make a slight change to it. And this is where the prompting comes in to edit the thumbnail. Now, incredibly, and I will confess this doesn't happen all of the time, but the suggested prompt here is exactly what I want, which is to add more YouTube play buttons in the background. So let's click that and see what happens. Now, what this is going to do is generate a new thumbnail, which means that you keep the original just in case you prefer that one. And that has certainly done what I've asked. But let's say I want to put in my own prompt. I'm going to edit this thumbnail now. And what I want to do is add my own text. So first of all, I'm going to prompt that I want the current text to be removed from this thumbnail. OK, successfully done that and retain the theme and style of a thumbnail. So now I want to draw your attention to the plus button here, which allows you to do some more manual edits, such as adding your own text. So I can write out my own text and put it wherever I want on the thumbnail and choose a style for that text different fonts, different colors and backgrounds. I think I'm going to opt for this chunky cartoony style of font because I think it matches the thumbnail. And then I'm going to add stickers. Now, as of time of recording, we have arrows, lots and lots of arrows, but we're going to add more stickers in the future. And through this, you can see how versatile the thumbnail editor is. I can flip the image, rotate it, make it smaller, bigger, duplicate it. And we also have different layers operating now as well. And also, if you wanted to add images to the thumbnail, say brand it, then you can do that as well. I'm adding the vidIQ icon here in the bottom left hand corner. So at this point, we have two fully formed thumbnails, one that we prompted into our desired result and another one where we edited it manually. But that doesn't stop you at any time clicking on the plus button to generate an entirely new thumbnail yeah, that looks pretty good as well, doesn't it? Now, as I mentioned earlier, you don't need a ready-made video to generate a thumbnail. You can prompt a thumbnail into existence. And the example I'm going to use here is top 10 Minecraft items ranked. And so we'll just wait for the tool to generate some options. And here we are. Yeah, that one's not bad. I like the composition and especially the wording here. And oh, a carrot. That's really weird but at the same time that's a really intriguing idea for a minecraft video i want to workshop this one a little bit so what i'm doing now is branding the thumbnail a little bit with some vidIQ theming by adding a picture of myself and using everybody's favorite thumbnail tool remove background. It's one of those clutch thumbnail tools that everybody needs and it has done a perfect job. And since this is a layer in itself, I can resize it and put it anywhere on the thumbnail and duplicate it. So now we have Minecraft carrots for the win. I think I may have taken this thumbnail a little too far into the bazaar. But that's kind of the beauty of this tool, unlimited instant creativity. It allows you to generate thumbnails fast and change them as if you're talking to your own thumbnail designer. And at any point, if you feel the need to manually add important components, like in this example, where we need to show genuine Pokemon cards, 
you can do it. We're so excited about this tool that the development team can't keep themselves away from it. As I was filming this demo, they added a magic eraser tool that allows you to literally remove stuff from the generated image. And we have tons of stuff in the pipeline, so it's very likely that by the time you try this for yourself, it'll have even more features than what I'm showing you today. So we want you to generate some thumbnails now for free by clicking the link below. We can't wait to see what you conjure up and do make sure to send us your feedback because we want to make this your indispensable tool for saving time and allowing you to focus on what matters most, the content.